Hi, this is Ann Sieg again, and we're going to dive into Listing Logistics Part 2, Optimizing Product Photos. I hope you paid close attention to why it's so important to use good keywords in your titles. It's all about making your products highly searchable. But there's even more you can do to boost your visibility in Cassini Search. And that lesson on good keywords is going to come in handy as we move on to the next step in listing logistics, product photos. Your product images must meet some basic eBay guidelines. But let's watch as Aaron shows you some stealth techniques for optimizing your photos to really take advantage of Cassini search and make it easy for customers to find your product before your competitors. Welcome back. We're on Listing Logistics Part 2, Optimizing Product Photos. The next component in creating a highly searchable product listing involves optimizing your photos for Cassini search. To do that, you need to know how information from the photos is used to prioritize which sellers get page one search results, as well as which listings will be shown first on page one. Your goal is to get to the top of page one, and you'll have a good shot at it if you understand and implement what you're learning here. Cassini gives preference to eBay listings using several criteria. Of course, we already covered keywords and titling, but in terms of your product images, Cassini likes when you use multiple photos. If your competitors have, say, one or two photos and you have three and preferably more, Cassini gives more weight to your listing. But to really get Cassini's attention, name each of your photos using three keywords, and you'll take those from your product title. This double whammy of keyword relevance tells Cassini that, hey, this would be a really good product to show the shopper. And voila, your product moves right on up in rank. So let's look um, a little bit more in detail at this. Most eBay sellers don't bother using keywords at all. They simply upload their images with something fairly nondescript like what you see in the lower right. Um, I'm pretty sure that shoppers aren't typing in 000178 underscore dsc.jpg in their search. If you want to leave your competitors in the dust, name each photo with three of the exact same keywords pulled from your titles or keyword phrases from your titles. By naming your photos with these three keywords, Cassini um, can determine how relevant it is to matching the shopper's search terms. So in the example above, I've got nine keywords out of three photos. So can you see how that would be really helpful for boosting your product listings even higher? Do this and you'll blow past your competition. When you upload your images to eBay, they need to meet some basic guidelines. Your photos need to be on a white background. Um, they need to take up about 75 to 80% of the space. And they need to be a minimum of 500 pixels top to bottom so that when a shopper zooms in for a close-up, the image remains clear. The width really isn't an issue, but the top uh, to bottom axis measurement needs to be 500 pixels. Also, your photos can't have any other identifying symbols, logos, or lettering, um, such as a web address or an email address or something that might interfere with the shopper's ability to view the product adequately. There are a few ways to locate and edit your product photos to meet eBay guidelines. This image that you're looking at is a snapshot I took of an Amazon product page. It has a main image as well as four additional thumbnail photos. Clicking each thumbnail brings up a new larger view, making it easier for you to get multiple detailed images. Or you can use the text that you see below the image, the main image, it you just click to open an expanded view. Here are two examples of what happens when you do that. The images are zoomed larger, they're displayed larger so that assuming you're the shopper looking at it, you can see details that will help you decide if you want to buy it. But what it means for you as an eBay seller is that now you can grab nice clear images for your eBay listings. Um, also notice the little thumbnails that are um, on the page views where you can click on any of those little thumbnails from that same window and get more photos. And again, more photos. Cassini gives a little more weight to a listing that has more photos. 
All right, so you can easily grab and edit your product photos using any basic image editing software that comes with your computer, such as um, the snipping tool that comes standard with Windows or the screenshot tool on a Mac, or by downloading some free software online such as GIMP, Jing by TechSmith, or PicMonkey. These are just three examples. There are more, um, which you can just do a web search and find some, but these are the ones that I recommend. So you just go to those web addresses, download the version that matches your operating system, as well as finding video tutorials on their sites that show the process in detail because they are going to differ. Um, each software is going to differ. But really, there is no reason that you can't do great images for your eBay listings with access to all of these free tools. Of course, if you already have image editing software like Photoshop on your computer, all the better. Here's a single image of one of the thumbnails fully expanded. At this point, you can use any imaging, image editing tool to create your image, crop it, resize it to eBay's 500 pixel standards, name it with your three keywords from your title, and then finally, save it to your computer's desktop. I like to create a folder on my desktop called eBay Images, or whatever you want to call it. That's what I call mine. Um, so when you save the photo, or when I save the photo, it asks me where do I want to save it. I just navigate over to the eBay Images folder, and boom, it's done. When it comes time to upload your photos for your listing, you would just simply navigate to your eBay image folder and select the ones you want. Easy peasy. All right, now we're headed to part three of listing logistics, product details. And this is where you'll give the benefits and features of your product, as well as some other specific information. All right, I'll see you then.